Alright, hello everybody! We are Gaming by Gaslight, and welcome back to what could possibly, maybe, but probably not, going to be the final episode of Batman Arkham Knight. At least the final episode of the story. We're back in the movie studio. We're going after... You, a father figure, don't make me laugh. You overwork and break your staff. Yes, we're going after Scarecrow. Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh no, where's Robin? So, there goes another boy wonder, lost to another super villain. <laughs> if it's any consolation, I can't see him matching my incredible work with Jason, can you? Scarecrow will probably just pump him full of tear gas, then slit his little throat. Oh, what a waste. Oh no. Ah, well, just you and me now, eh, kiddo? The real dynamic duo. <laughs> there, there, try those eyes. Seriously, when are you gonna learn? Every time you let someone come between us, they end up dead or crippled or brainwashed into killing you. Take a hint, old boy. We may have had our differences, but you and me, we're made for each other. Here. Looking for someone. You should know by now that nowhere is safe. The commissioner was so eager to betray you earlier when his daughter's life depended on it. And now I have your Robin, the caged bird. Fascinating that your fears would drive you to lock your closest ally in a prison cell. Now those same fears will make you do as I say. There's a storage depot in Kingston. Go there, alone. Prepare to take off that mask, or your friends will die. Did you see it? See what? Scarecrow snatched the little bird-faced loser you left locked up in a cell? <laughs> yeah, I saw it. That was pretty funny, I gotta say. Was Gordon with them? Oh, Harley. Oh, no, you don't. You're, uh, you should be happy just to be you, Harley. You don't want to be turned into the old Joker. How do I get in here, anyway? No, that's not anything I can... And what is that? It's a panel of some kind. I assume we have to figure out... Now that I think about it. Actually, all this time, could I have just thrown like a batarang through this? Let's find out. Oh, what do you know? What, is, what did I do there? Okay. There's also a Riddler trophy up here, apparently. Okay, so we gotta find some electricity. Oh, there we are. Get the electricity from up there, and you come over here, through the window. There's a flying Grayson poster over here, by the way. So, I'm thinking that might be a riddle. Or did we try that earlier? I can't remember. Alright, so we come in through here, like so. Oh no, that's not it. Hmm. 
Okay, good. Got a handle on this. So the idea is to turn them all on. Or turn them all off. Okay. Oh. Oh, I did it. Uh, you guys will have to rewind and slow that down, because I'm... I have no idea how I managed to accomplish that. What is that a reference to? Uh, good old Solomon Grundy. He was originally a Green Lantern villain, wasn't he? Like back in the old, old days. Before Green Lantern was a sci-fi kind of superhero, and it was more of a... What is this? I'm just trying everything now. Well, yeah. Hmm. It's probably something super obvious, too. I'm going to revolver figures. Do you? No, I don't know why. Him. All right, let's keep moving. Giving up the cowl, eh, Batsy? Good for you. You save your friends, I get another token talk. <laughs> Hang on. What a fat faced juice you want to have his son. No, I changed my mind. We don't have to go. Caring for friends is overrated, especially yours. They can't be left alone for five minutes without being kidnapped. That does seem true sometimes. Only when the story calls for it, though. You left him in a cell. He wasn't safe. And he is now? He'd take a bullet for you, Bruce. We all would. But you left him. Defenseless. You didn't even give him a choice. I'm sorry, Bruce, but you have to get him back. Whatever it takes. So you know, you're in the middle of GCPD. Give yourself up to Scarecrow and get us both killed? Or is it time for the new dynamic duo to hit the streets? Is it? Is there actually a choice in that? I don't think so. Alright, let's wrap this one up. A GCPD helicopter reported a hostage situation in Fort Adams, sir. One of the station said That's not good. Ha! <laughs> the militia boys are crapping their pants, but the new boss won't let them go. You know, a random thought just occurred to me. Well, actually, it occurred to me before, but I didn't voice it until now. You know what would have been really thematically appropriate? I believe one of the pre-order oh, bonuses was a Gotham by Gas slight version of... Next year. What's the what's that light up here? Oh, oh that's just uh, yeah. But I believe one of the uh, pre-order bonuses for this game was a Gotham by Gaslight skin, which almost makes me wish I had pre-ordered just so I could get that. What with the channel being so gaming by Gaslight and all, it just seems like that would be fitting to play everywhere. with that Crazy skin. Oh well. Pond, not to mention the bat driving around in his personal war machine all night. Next time there's an evacuation, I'm getting on the bus. Good idea, random bug. Alright. So, it's looking increasingly unlikely that we're actually going to finish the story in this particular episode. Though I might, depending on how long the final sequence is, I may, I may keep things going. Shit. Oh boy. 
Okay. Kind of bugs me I didn't... I was trying to land on the crane, but apparently the game did not want to oblige me. You there. wait! The chief's gonna make you all pay for this! Are you kidding me? The only way he's doing anything is if he comes here with an army, and that ain't happening! You're through! Maybe the chief's already dead! You've been watching Scarecrow on the big screen? His face weren't that messed up back at the asylum. Funny you think the chief is gonna suddenly appear and take us out, like he's some kind of superhero. Oh, I do have a fear multi take. <laughs> make this work? Oh crap, he's gone! <laughs> okay, I'm kind of baffled. I mean, I guess it makes a certain amount of sense. We were sort of out of range. Oh. Excuse me. Where do you think you're going? We've got another one. It's just us. <laughs> I know where it is. Oh. There he is! He ain't getting away again! Oh. Come on, game. That was kind of ridiculous. I mean, I swiped at him, but I guess he still had some kind of invincibility frame while he was finishing his climbing the ladder animation. Oh well. Anyway, moving on. Hey there, fire fighter. Rescue man, tailor, whatever your name is. You're safe. That's what matters. I didn't expect to see anyone. Least of all you. You were the last person to see the chief. What happened? I was trapped when the truck crashed. I could feel the flames around my feet. My my boots melting. Next thing, the window above me smashes, and there was the chief, pulling me out. The truck was gonna blow, but he didn't give up. I saw them dragging him towards the city vision building. Please, you have to help him. I will. Don't go anywhere. An officer is coming for you. Alright, we're gonna wrap that up. This storyline before we go deal with Scarecrow. Get some speed going here. Whoa. Oh, you turned around there, Batman. Why would you do that to me? Alright, so. What do you think the plot twist is going to be of this? Since it almost sounds like, like the Chief was working with uh, Firefly. Or maybe he was trying to reform the guy. You never know. Or maybe there's something else going on here. Could there be a second Firefly? No, that would be far too predictable. What the hell are the soldiers still doing here, man? Almost rooting for Batman to kick their ass. This is our city! You're damn right, Fug. You're damn right this is our city. And you should feel that sense of pride in your city and want Batman to kick the asses of any foreign invaders who are trying to destroy it. That's what I say. Ford's place Quinzel in the northern sector of Bleak Island. They say she came back from the bat. Oh, what's the matter, Chief? Oh geez, there's 16 armed guards. Why are there so many armed guards? Oh, 
I should have waited over there. I'm still not counting 16. Let's see if we can do this perfectly without being seen, without taking a hit, all that cool stuff. Oh, they're not killed. That's the glorious part. Of course, I suppose we should be aiming to do a bit of variety here. And it's no fun when they're depressed. I love to be hysterical. They still have no idea I'm even here. It's beautiful, isn't it? Uh, would we be able to get that guy involved? Oh, but I am. I guess that counts as being seen, doesn't it? Okay, there's seven guys left. Three there, one, four, five, six. Seriously? You hear that? He came from over there. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Are they seriously gonna make it that easy? Alright, let's, uh... Let's try being a little creative, shall we? With this particular plan. Voice synthesizer. Um, can I actually use it on this mission? No? He ain't getting up. Keep moving. Oh, really? No good. He isn't wearing a headset. Deploy charge. Oh. Okay, wait for it. Oh wait. We can do something like this. We can make them think I'm over here. Heard it again. Wait for it. Are they both gonna come check it out? What was that? I'll check it out. Are you actually gonna check it out or are you just saying? Oh, come on. I hate when they refuse to work with me. Um, that's not where I want to go. Sentry gun? Alright, if you think that'll help you. Wait. No, there's still no one under me. We get a fear takedown? Oh no. Is that a fug or is that a city worker? Hey, what happened to you? Oh shit. didn't go as well as I had hoped. Alright, so it's just the one guy left.
S seriously? <sighs> I was really hoping to blow that up. I am disappointed. Hey there, Chief. My men. Are they okay? Your men think a lot of you, Captain. They trust you. You know, don't you? I know you would do anything for your men. Even if that meant aiding and abetting a known arsonist. It was you who gave Firefly the access codes and addresses of abandoned buildings. I always made sure they were empty. No one was hurt. You put your men in danger. The city was shutting us down. I couldn't let them do it. I couldn't. And while there was an arsonist at large in Gotham, your men would keep their jobs. They've got families. They gave their lives to this city. I made a promise to them. I couldn't break it. You understand that, right? The police will want to question you at GCPD. Oh, man. This is your seat, Chief. Riding in the Batman's car. My little girl's gonna be jealous. You know, Batman was the reason I enlisted. No way. I didn't know about any of this. Where? You have to believe me. I, I didn't say anything about you being involved with in Scarecrow. That's a hell of a story, which actually leads to the question, if you were in his position, uh, Chief Underhill here, would you do the same thing for your men to help secure their jobs? Oh, not necessarily if you were a firefighter or something, but in a similar situation where if you could do something morally wrong that would protect the jobs of the people working for you, Let's would go, you do Chief. it? Oh god, this is really happening. Or just in general, would you do anything if you were in charge of- Try and make sure the men don't find out. I want to be the one who tells them. You're right. They deserve that much. I'm putting in a, him in with these guys? Hey, I think prison's going to be the making of this one, Batsy. A few jailhouse cats, gang initiations, drug abuse. He'll come out a fully functioning criminal. Just what Gotham needs. Are you serious? We're putting him in with these whack jobs? You saved our asses back there, Batman. Thanks. Man, I need a vacation. Don't we all, Cash? Don't we all? Anyway, so I guess that'll do it for this episode. So, as always, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. It really does mean a lot to me. And... Next time, we go for what could quite possibly be the finale, the showdown, the final attack against Scarecrow. But until then, see you in the next episode.